Hi guys, I'm uh, I'm away again um, at the moment, so I'm not going to make this one too long. But what I am going to do is just cover some of the things I was talking about last year. Now I know if you guys are subscribers, you're already in the Discord, etc. You guys are going to know again a lot of this. There's not really that much has changed for you guys. If you're not actually a subscriber, maybe you're not even in the Discord channel. Um, you might not have seen you know, some of these things. So I just want to re-emphasize really where we are, why are we doing what we're doing and, you know, why I'm not that interested in, you know, every little kind of swing or every little, you know, move and, and, and just kind of up and down swing. I think in the grand scheme of things, knowing where we are and how we've become more institutional, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, first of all, I'm going to open up um, in terms of some of the previous posts. Now, I've just posted this on Trading View if you haven't already seen it. It's talking about some of the key levels, right? Now, going back, you know, a year, maybe even longer now, since I've been putting some of this kind of public, I've talked about things like the the Bitcoin chart becoming more and more institutionalized. Okay. Now Part of this particular post that I posted just a couple of days back, this was on um, the 3rd of September. So part of what I'm talking about in this particular post is the key levels, right? And then how we spot some of these key levels and why these key levels are actually being used, right? So this post goes all the way back to 2020 when I started making some of my Bitcoin calls a little bit more public, right? So... First things first, some of the the logic and the reasoning behind this is why it's pegged to the dollar, gold, SPX, euro, how some of these kind of fit together. Again, these are only trade and view posts. There's not a lot of depth in the grand scheme of things, but it'll, it'll give you kind of a surface level introduction to why these things are kind of important and key. Okay, so fast forward a couple of months. This was February 2021. And in this particular post, I talked about, again, why these institutional levels will actually be valid, right? How they will play themselves out. I've gone into some depth in this, right? In terms of how and why you're spotting these and how these can actually be utilized, okay? So let's go back to this. Now, what you'll see from February 2021, okay? So this this one, February 2021, you actually see why this 36,109 become a very critical level later down the line. Okay, so I'm just going to fast forward and play that through. So again, the same post, 2021, February the 28th, and you'll see as the price moves away and then pulls back down, you'll see this almost be in a center of a consolidation zone. Okay, now. This happens quite frequently, and it's understanding, I guess, the logic behind it is going to help identify key areas going into the future, right? So what I wanted to do was I wanted to highlight in this particular post, you know, what we've covered from why it was accumulation or reaccumulation down around this level, January 2021, why we were expecting distribution in the rocket call why we were talking about uncommon sense down at the lows, and then ultimately where we were talking about the the highs only going beyond certain key levels, right? So I have to find this one again in another post. So that was probably what was the data on that one. That one there was around July, right? So middle of July. Now, from July through to August, I think I've put this into... This particular post. Let me just find the exact one that we were talking about in August. No, not this one. Between the one just before. Uh, let me scroll down just a couple more. Okay, maybe this one. So I haven't really been that active in terms of trade and view. I'm not really that active at the moment with YouTube. I think at the moment there's not really a lot to say in the much bigger picture yeah it was this one here so 24th of august right it was again having this conversation internally with the subscribers as to why 
we were actually seeing the monthly three is not there yet all the buyers in and around the 65k being the previous all-time high and then we likely to see a drop back down to the 40k level very quick right so this was prior to the drop back down and the move up right this was in august and the reason for highlighting this especially to our members was again understanding and for these guys to understand why the key levels will do what they do how, how the price will interact with these key levels okay so in essence fast forward let's find that where we were so this was obviously in august the price dropped down as we've just shown in that picture then back up right now the 65k level right and why it suggested 65k and just above all right so 65k roughly there is that we're going to have right a bit of a, a, a play thing in this in terms of an auction area right now at that particular point all it's doing is grabbing liquidity put something else on you're just grabbing liquidity from that previous high right now we could see this back in july we could see this on the move up we could see this as to why it was likely to play the game that it was playing okay so in essence big picture it's done very little in terms of deviation from the moves that we were actually expecting we've managed to catch you know ultimately the rocket call three the pull back down four back up for five and then this kind of truncated five move in terms of elliot and therefore now seeing a larger scale four on the monthly time frame okay so understanding where we are in terms of the bias is kind of the first step understanding where these key levels which is what i've just posted in the previous post is going to help kind of define where we go in why right so there's a little bit more in terms of the strategy and the understanding of the strategy but in essence right i'm not seeing this as bitcoin to the moon but i'm also not seeing this as bitcoin is dead right so the game really is about patience right it's about understanding where we are in the major cycle where we are in the major move and then using that to your advantage to take opportunities on in your favor right? these become higher probability type trades and you have a lot of confidence when you know what it is you're looking for okay so the next thing is back in what was it, this november 2021 I was showing why we were likely to get the next UTAD move three down, right? And this was basically as we were coming into this new region for around 70k, right? Now, obviously, suckering in the previous buyers and adding new buyers at 65 is going to give you a little bit of deviation in the price because this was uncharted territory. But in essence, there was going to be an awful lot of liquidity in terms of new buys at that particular point okay so seeing what we were seeing back in november we could then start to look at what i would call step levels and these step levels were identified again back november the 18th 2021 right and you'll see how these interact with the price as the price starts to fall okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the step levels in right and i'm going to go through each of them so first things first the price comes back down from the first high right this year and we start to consolidate before the move down we consolidate we fake up before the next move down right now this one ultimately bashes straight through comes back up and sits on it right we then move away from it we're not quite back at the previous and we come back down and we consolidate and then we kind of tag it multiple times right then we move back up only to the previous get rejected through the previous 
and straight back down to the one just below. Okay. Fast forward a little bit further. We do exactly the same thing. We come down, we ping it back through, we consolidate straight through and straight into the next one. Okay. So identifying these key levels, and this is all back from the 18th of November, 2021, right? As to why these levels are going to be used later in the future. All right. Now, we could look at this and say, well, you know, you're going to pick levels out and these levels are going to be hit. But understanding where the auction areas are, why we're we going to consolidate at these areas. These are just not one ping and off we go, right? These are areas used by institutionals. And again, just understanding where they are. You don't have to be exact. Right? You don't have to get to that level of understanding. You just need to understand how to identify them, where they're likely to go. Combining that with your overall bias, you're in a much better situation in terms of the trade as a whole. Okay? So when I say the reason that I'm not that active at the moment, I know Paul is still doing daily streams and keeping everybody kind of up to speed. The reason that I'm not that active at the moment in kind of in, in the situation that we're currently in is I've been renovating a new house and just really haven't seen much in terms of the chart to show the boat. I'm currently away I've got a couple of weeks um, up in the Lake Districts back in the UK. So, and then obviously I go back to France and uh, I'll be back back into my renovational work. So at the moment, there really is not that much to say in terms of where we are going right now, right? Now, if you guys are still watching and you are a subscriber, I'll be putting this out as subscribers only streams first and kind of giving you the heads up in terms of these next moves, where they are, why they're doing what they're doing. Obviously, if you're not a subscriber, they will be coming out, but they'll be coming out kind of you know, probably post the event. I'll probably share some of the subscribers videos after a couple of days so in, in essence we're looking at where we are right now the move for me right is a much much bigger pattern and therefore i still feel this is the eight, right i've said this for months and months and months nothing on the chart currently has changed my mind in terms of this as a situation right if the only thing that I would suggest, the only thing that I, you know, would potentially reconsider in terms of the situation is that this could be an A, this could be a B, okay, making this the C. The only trouble with this as a current move is if this was the case, we're actually moving more into a combo move here. Right, because this doesn't look like a one, two, three, four, five. Right. However, just to play devil's advocate almost with myself, if we were to use this as a one, two, three, four, five move, the next problem I have is we'd be looking at a zero, one, back down two. Right. I'm going to put three, four, five to one side for now. Okay. Now, just like the calls from this one, two, right, and then giving us the truncation and being able to forecast that as a 65k distribution pattern, we're going to have a similar issue when we come to the one, two. Okay. Because people are expecting now 100k as a move. What you have to emphasize is if we take this as being the C is in, the downside is done, right? And we go 0, 1, back down 2. We'd actually be expecting a count that looks something like this.
right? If that's the case, that's as high as we likely to go, right? Even if I give it a benefit of the doubt and I extend that one leg further, we're only very likely to go to around the 50k mark if the assumption the bottom's in, one and two is in, and we're now ready to move up, right? A lot of the influencers on Twitter, you know, YouTube, these guys are only looking for clicks. They're looking for views. They call in the bottoms in, the bottoms in, the bottoms in, right? They've called this all the way down, right? We had Moon Carl call in buy 69. We had MMC Crypto buy in 69, you know, buy in these kinds of levels at 40, buy in this again, buy in this one again, you know, buy in this and buy in this and buy in this. And the truth is, guys, you know, we've come down and we've gone sideways, right? <sighs> Understanding where the influencers are making money, right? It's shilling retail traders, new retail traders, buy bit links and selling them the dream, right? They rent in cars, they film in their lifestyle. Yes, they're making money, but they're making money off YouTube clicks, you know, YouTube views, buy bit affiliate you know, kind of bonus scheme setups. And ultimately, they're making money from everybody else's loss, all right? And everybody else is paying in terms of having to watch them. The reality is understanding this and, uh, and being real with yourself and the market. We've got logic as to why we've done what we've done. Bitcoin isn't dead, but Bitcoin also isn't going to 100K in days or weeks or potentially even months right so finding these key levels using some logic and then applying the patience you know, i guess kind of yeah applying the patience is probably the biggest factor in all of this right just understanding this isn't the quick fix this isn't the get rich quick scheme right you can be lucky with some old coins you can get lucky with a, a wild swing but the reality is if you want to trade bitcoin or other crypto seriously then take a step back reevaluate the situation get an understanding for these key levels and then you can start to break down where we likely to go next all right so i'm going to leave it like that for now like i said next stream is going to be for subscribers only and uh, it'll probably be when i'm back off this particular trip so um, yeah enjoy the rest of the week guys thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.